Hey, welcome back to Evil's Comics. This guy right here is Evil Mike, and if you saw the thumbnail, then you know what the video is. I got an AOK -okay from my dude, Comic Cap Collectibles. Um, Rich reached out to me. Uh, he had heard I was looking for some, um, I think it was uh, like the Nightfall series, is what we originally started talking, and it kind of led into this AOK, -okay, but he had said he had received like a massive collection that had doubles. And it is one of the Grail series that I'm trying to, con you know, complete. I know it's not a big, but it is for me. Um, <clears throat> so before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, of course, it does help out this channel before I get into my stories and opening up this box. But um, there is kind of a funny story with, with Rich. Um, there, we have two comic caps in the community, but the other cap, comic cap hasn't been active. Um, and I'm talking about Kenny. Now, Rich is this this man right here, but um, I, when I first started, there was another Comic Cap. So when Comic Cap first, he found me, this this Comic Cap, and I know that's confusing, guys. Um, but he reached out to me, he found me, and he was talking to me, and at first I felt bad because I thought it was Kenny. Um, and I, ne I never really revealed that to him because I just did, like, I, nothing bad was ever said or anything like that it was just i thought it was kenny and it turned out to be a whole nother comic cap because i started watching his channel and i've only watched i think two or three videos um but uh, i it, it opened up you know revealed the mystery kind of thing but rich has been an outstanding guy in the community i've seen him a lot more lately in the live streams stuff like that um but you know, before I get started on the AOK, please give this man a sub if you are not subbed to him. Give him a like, a comment. Tell him Evil Mike sent you. All his information is in the description right below. It's easy. You just click on it. It takes you right there. It's all free. Um, so I do have it pre-cut. I have not opened it. I did take off the shipping labels. You don't need to see all that. Um, hopefully, I love looking for the note. Honestly, I reached out and told Rich that I've received the package, and um, he was telling me that it was just for me, that the, he, he didn't, you know, that I didn't have to film it kind of thing. I love filming it. For one, it's free advertisement, you know, um, and it's also like, hey, look, look at this guy. He just sent me this gift, and you know, and I, I think, I think that's phenomenal. The A-OK, -okay, the A O K act of kindness. Um, but he does have it nicely packaged. It did. It was, you know, in bubble wrap. He does have pull tabs. Went with the green painter's tape, which I love seeing different colors of painter's tape. I often see just straight blue. I mean, I work construction, so I see painter's tape all the time. But it's always just blue. All right. I was looking for a note. I love getting a note, but I'm not seeing a note. If I find one, I will make sure and check it out. So here we go. First one. Yes. This, this is what I'm most excited for. He did tell me there's some other stuff in this box, but I'm most excited for, to, to finally get a lot of the Nightfall series. I did read some of it as a kid. And, um, I was huge into it growing up. I would have been, you know, 92. I would have been 12. But, um,. I never really read it all the way through. It was kind of like half reading it, you know. Um, but this is Shadow of the Bat, issue number 28, Night Quest for Crusade, and, and it just says Commissioner Gordon, The Long Dark Night. And with the dope cover, I don't know who the artist is. I have no idea. Alright. Book two. Yay, yeah, we get another Night Quest, Shadow of the Bat. This one, Adventures of Child's Clay. Um, and it is issue number 27, and that was before it was 28. Heck yeah. Another Shadow of the Bat, The God of Fear. I actually recognize these cover the first two. I didn't, I didn't, I hadn't recognized that one. Um, but this is number 16, and this is a Nightfall issue. So it's before uh, the Breaking of the Bat, and the Night Quest is after the Breaking of the Bat. You know, that's Azrael flying around. Ooh. All right, so we got Batman issue number 667, Night Quest or Crusade. I think this might be the issue after, like when Azrael first puts on the suit. Some of this I did. I was more like, I know that the whole Bane and Batman thing was cool, but for me, John John Paul becoming the new Batman, that was, that was a big thing. And I, I kind of dug, ooh, and the main man right there. I can see that. Um, Lobo issue number 304. 
if I'm not mistaken, this is, yeah, Simon Bisley. I love Simon Bisley. This is what got me into Simon Bisley as a teenager was reading Lobo. I actually got in trouble for reading Lobo because if you don't notice, they had the mature, like, rating on this comic. I think you had to be, like, 13 or 14. I don't remember what the age limit was, but in my con the comic shops that I went to, they were they were pretty evident about <laughs> but I did get in trouble for reading a bunch of these books Lobo and um, I'm trying to think there was another comic that I used to read but this is Lobo 2 of 4 and, and again Simon Beasley I love his art man the way he drew Lobo ooh this is uh, Robin issue number three, and is the um, I Cry of the Huntress issue number three. It's like a lithograph cover, and I think it comes with. It says special moving cover, second reversible cover. Oh yeah, and it has a poster. I think I've actually, and the, and this is issue. I think I said it, but the issue number three. I think before in my Houston collection, I actually have issues one and two. I think, or I might have issue one because they all have those lithographs. But this is dope. And it's still like poly bag and everything. Heck yeah. Whoa. All right, so we got DC Comics, The Shadow, number seven, a twenty censor. That's pretty dope. I've never actually gotten to read The Shadow. I did grow up with the, you know, Alec Baldwin Shadow movie, and I was always, ever, I'm not going to say I'm a huge Shadow fan, but I loved that movie. It was a great movie. Enough, or I would read The Shadow if I had the collection. All right, so we got DC Comics Birds of Prey, issue number seven. I don't know what the AD means. That's pretty cool. And I don't mean to sound like, oh, that's pretty cool. No, that's pretty cool. DC Comics, Birds of Prey, issue number six. I like that. With or It would be Oracle on the cover, and like after she got, you know, she's not Batgirl no more. Birds of Prey, issue number nine. This is dope. I love them. I'm actually, I've been actually thinking about getting that tattoo right there. What y'all think? A DC tattoo? Got Birds of Prey. This is a dope cover. And Birds of Prey issue number 10. I don't know who she's fighting in the glasses, but that is really cool. Might be Black Canary. I don't know. Yeah, this one flipped up. I'm sorry. This is Green Lantern issue number 8. And I'm assuming it's like volume 3 or 4 maybe? But that's really cool. I've never actually owned a lot of Green Lantern, um, except for the new 52 series. Ooh, a Green Lantern issue number two. That's crazy. Street Demons, and this would be the Guy Gardner run, I think. Was that Guy Gardner? Yeah, it was. I didn't even see him there. I forget that they, they gave him that bowl cut in the 90s. But that is the A-OK. -okay. Um... You know, if you know anything about these comics, like Comic Cap, uh, Rich, if you know what that AD is, let me know. I don't know what that is. I don't know if they, any of these, besides the Nightfall uh, issues, I don't know if any of them are keys or special issues. I don't care. They're DC Comics and they're in my collection. I love them. Thank you, Rich. I can't thank you enough. Um, the, the, this community is just so dope. I've never been a part of any community like this before, and I have been a part of a lot of different communities. But uh, hands down, the comic book community is just something else. Um, I, I don't know what else to say, but that's what I got for you guys. That's, that's uh, you know, Comic Cap uh, Collectibles. Please go give him a sub, a like, and maybe just watch his video for a couple seconds, you know. Let him know you're there, you know. Maybe you might, I mean, you might like this guy more than me. You never know, you know. I mean, it's all about attitude, personality, and you know, that, that's what it's all about. Um, but that's what I got for you guys. I'll let y'all go. I'll see y'all later. I got more videos coming, reviews, that kind of stuff. My comic pickups are coming uh Wednesday and Thursday, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm late. Um, Alright guys, that's all I got for you.